Finally, one more thought. It's not easy being president. You have the weight of the free world on your shoulders. You have a pesky Congress that gives you a tough time over just about anything you want to do. And you need to protect the country from possible attack at any time of day or of night. But the job is not without its perks. You get a big house, you get a 747 as your personal airplane, and a limo so big that they call it the beast. And of course, you do have four million employees committed to giving you anything you want, right? Well, not so fast. It turns out that all those people charged with keeping you safe have their own ideas about what you can and cannot do. So when President Barack Obama took office, he fought for two months to keep his Blackberry. Sure, he ultimately got his way, but only after a two month battle. And when he got his precious Blackberry back, he could only reach a small circle of people. And even those couldn't forward any of his messages. And now it's President Biden's turn. His simple pleasure is getting on his Peloton and working out every morning to get the day started right. But there is a problem. The Peloton connects to the internet, letting you get inspiration from your favorite trainer and compete with others on the leaderboard. Well, the Secret Service is none too happy with the idea of foreign adversaries getting access into the new president's innermost sanctum, not to mention his exercise routine. I'm sure President Biden will get some version of his beloved Peloton back at some point, but we should all take heart that even though we can't protect untold government computer systems from Russian hackers, we can make sure they can't get at one lonely Peloton now located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue.